Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the job aptitude testing website, howtobecome.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a logics test. So if you have a logics general intermediate test coming up, then please make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to help you to pass it. To achieve that goal, this is what we will cover. I will talk about the different types of logics test questions that will come up during your test. I'll follow that by giving you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to tackle logics assessment test questions. Plus, I'll give you plenty of essential tips to help you to pass your logics assessment at the very first attempt. And don't forget, I'll also tell you where you can instantly access over 330 logics test practice questions and the fully worked answers. And just very quickly, before we dive into the tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your aptitude tests by giving you brilliant practice to the toughest logics test questions and I can only do that if you are subscribed and please don't forget to hit that like button because that tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay let's take a look at that very first logics test question and let's do that by diving into logics numerical reasoning tests first. So during the logics numerical reasoning test you will have four minutes to answer 16 questions, which equates to just 15 seconds per question. The questions will mainly test your ability in regard to number sequences, word problems, and mental arithmetic. So here is an example question for you. Question one, I think of a number, I multiply it by five, I subtract three, the answer is 37. What number did I start with? Is it A, 11? B, 17, C, 8, D, 5, or E, 3. So how do we work this out? Well, it's actually quite simple once you know how. We simply need to do the arithmetic in reverse order. So for example, we start with the 37. And where it says we subtract 3, we add 3. So we do 37 plus 3. That gives us 40. Where it says multiply it by 5, we simply divide it by 5. So we do 40 divided by 5, and that gives us our answer of 8. So the correct answer option is C, 8. So just remember to do these questions in reverse order. Now, if you need to pause the video or rewind it and go through that again, please do so because I'm going to give you plenty of practice questions for you to try yourself. But what's really important for me is that you get the foundations right because you can improve your speed and accuracy by taking more practice questions. But get those foundations right. Understand how to answer these questions first of all. So let's try a question for yourself. Please put your answer to question number two in the comment section below for marking. I get back to every person who comments on my channel. Please put your answers below and I will mark them for you. If you need any further help, let me know. Question number two. I think of a number, I multiply it by seven, then I add 15. The answer is 99. What number did I start with? Is it A, seven, B, 10, C, 12, D13 or E17. Now I'm going to give you just 10 seconds on the timer. Remember, you should get about 15 seconds when answering these questions, but I want to bring this challenge to you because it will help you prepare effectively. It's always better to over prepare than under prepare. So your 10 seconds starts now. Great, how did you get on? Let me know your answer in the comment section below and I'll mark it for you. Let's take a look at another one. I think of a number, I divide it by four, then I subtract six, the answer is nine. What number did I start with? Here are your answer options. Again, I'm gonna give you just 10 seconds on the timer. If you need more time, pause the video, work out the answer. Like I said, you can always practice more questions under time conditions to improve your speed later on, but get the answers right first of all. Your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, just a couple more for you to try. Question four. I think of a number, I multiply it by three, then I add 11. The answer is 50. What number did I start with? Here are your answer options. Again, just 10 seconds starting now.
Brilliant, let's end with a really tricky one. Most people will struggle with this, so don't be too harsh on yourself if you don't get it. I'm really throwing down the gauntlet here and making this question extremely hard. But give it your best shot, as by answering this, you will dramatically increase your numerical reasoning exam skills. Here we go. I think of a number, I square it, then subtract five times the number, and finally add six. The result is 20. What number did I start with? You can see the wording there is even slightly more difficult. Here are your answer options. You will notice in these answer options, you have two options. You have a positive number and a negative number. Don't be too harsh if you can't answer this question. Just let me know in the comment section below and I will help you and give you the working out. This question is likely way harder than that that you'd actually face. You have 10 seconds starting now. How did you get on with all those questions? Do let me know your answers in the comment section below. We're now gonna move on to the Logics Verbal Reasoning Tests. And just before we do so, at any point during this tutorial, if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner and head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can access over 330 Logics Aptitude Test Preparation style questions, including the ones we're covering right now, plus the fully worked answers and strategies to pass each question type to make you the standout candidate. Okay, let's take a look at those verbal reasoning questions. Question six is this. Which letter is missing from the following four words? You can see we have these words here, but they're incomplete. We have fee, question mark, R, and plea, question mark, eight. So there is a missing letter that should fit into each of those four words. Here are your answer options. Is it L, D, S, R, or T? Now there are two ways to try and answer this type of aptitude test question. The first being a process of elimination. For example, we can take the letter L and see if it makes any of the four words. For the first word, fee, F-E-E, -E, if we add the letter L at the end of it, we get fill, which is a word. But then if we add it to the A-R-E, we get la. And if we add it to P-L-E-A and add the L, we get plil. These are not words, so we know that letter is incorrect. However, a real quick way to answer this type of question is to look at the four potential words and see which word seems most obscure. In other words, which word is most likely to either start or end with fewer potential letter options? In this example, the letters making up the word P-L-E-A stand out to me, and therefore, I would instantly know the own letter that would work is D. I would then try adding the letter D to the other words to see if they work too. And they do indeed. So the correct answer is answer D, giving us the words feed, dare, plead and date. Now it's your turn. Please put your answer to question seven in the comment section below the video for marking. Okay, here we go. Question seven. Which letter is missing from the following four words? Here are those options, and here are your potential letters. Is it T, F, L, D, or K? You have 12 seconds to work this out, starting now. Great, how did you get on? Try another one. Please put your answer to question eight in that comment section below, and I will reply back to you. Question eight is this, which letter is missing from the following four words? Is it A, E, T, B or S? 12 seconds starts now. You're doing great by practicing these style of verbal reasoning test questions. You are gonna increase your chances of passing your logics based assessment. So let's have a look at another type of verbal reasoning question. Which of the following is the odd one out? Is it A, Daisy, B, Rose, C, Lily, D, Sunflower, or E, Petal? Now when answering these type of verbal reasoning test questions, remember, all items will be related. 
but one option will not be the same as the rest. So for example, all of these options are types of flowers except one, which is an element of a flower and that is the petal. So the correct answer option here was E. Now, just as before, it's your turn to answer some questions like these. Make sure you put your answers in that comment section below for marking. Here we go. Question 10. Which of the following is the odd one out? Jog, run, sprint, sit or walk? You have 12 seconds starting now. Okay, you're doing great. Let's take a look at another one. Which of the following is the odd one out? Is it cat, dog, owl, horse or elephant? Tell 12 seconds starts now. Now, as a very quick bonus, I want to help improve your verbal reasoning skills. And to do that, I'm gonna give you two quick fire questions and you're gonna have just three seconds to answer each of these questions. So get ready, because I'm gonna read out the question and then give you three seconds to answer these. So question 12 is this. Mark is not as wealthy as Jane. Who has less money? Is it A, Mark, B, Jane, or C, both the same? Three seconds starts now. Okay, let's take a look at another one of those quick fire questions. Sadie's shoe size is seven and Mary's is nine. Who needs the largest size shoes? Is it A, Sadie, B, Mary, or C, both the same? Three seconds starts now. How did you get on with those? Let me know your answer in the comment section below. We're now gonna move on to arguably the toughest part of this tutorial, which is the abstract reasoning tests. Now, many people, when undertaking any type of job aptitude test questions, not just the logics general intermediate questions, find the abstract reasoning questions the hardest. So we're gonna look at these in depth and give you plenty of practice questions. And just before we do that, don't forget, if you'd like to practice any of these questions we're covering today in mock exam conditions, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of the video if you want to, and head over to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can instantly access my 330 logics assessment test questions and answers resource. Okay, let's move on to those abstract reasoning tests. Now, as I said, many people struggle with abstract reasoning questions the most. So let's take a look at the first question together. Question 14 is this. Which answer figure, A, B, C or D, is the odd one out? Now, can you see the odd one out by looking at these? Well, the best thing to do here is to look for patterns. Looking for patterns is crucial for answering abstract reasoning questions quickly and correctly. The patterns may be to do with shapes, colors, or both. For example, we can see here that the shapes appear to have the same color pattern. Let's look at A. You'll see here, the outer shape starts as white. We then have a black shape followed by a white shape in the center. You can see B follows that pattern too, starting with a white shape on the outer, then a black shape, and then a white shape. D follows that same pattern also, but C does not. It has a white outer, and then a white second shape, and then a black shape in the center. So the only shape that doesn't follow the pattern is answer option C, making it the odd one out and the correct answer for this. So now try one of these questions for yourself. Which figure, A, B, C or D, is the odd one out? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to try this, starting now. Did you spot it? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's move on to another abstract reasoning test question. Which figure is the odd one out? A, B, C or D? 10 seconds starting now.
You're doing really well. I know these are really tough for some people. So do take all the time you need to practice these and let me know your answers in that comment section below. And if you need any help, do let me know there because I respond to absolutely everyone who leaves comments on my videos and I'm more than happy to spend the time to help you prepare effectively. Okay, 10 seconds starts now. Well done, you've done brilliant. The next thing to do is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now and head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get access to over 330 Logic's preparation style aptitude test questions and the fully worked answers to each question. You can literally have online access within two minutes from now and it is guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your next job aptitude test and also, more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their aptitude tests and job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. And if you have any questions regarding any aptitude tests, please feel free to put these in the comment section below where I'll get back to you. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your aptitude test. Have a great day.